you guys i'm so happy you made it back to the channel because today would not have been the same without you y'all i need to get me a comfortable chair because i just be in this chair all kind of ways cross leg leg knee up <laughs> all kind of ways y'all see <laughs> i need a comfortable chair um okay y'all so this video i've been recording just recording 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 because i only gave y'all one look i'm trying to adjust the camera and talk to y'all at the same time i only gave y'all one um i only gave y'all one video last night i was like no sir no ma'am no 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 that's not what we're gonna do but i got a lot of videos i don't even know if i'm gonna upload all these videos but i got a few so just in case you never know so today i'm gonna be telling y'all about it's a story time so i'm gonna be telling you about the first time that i ever went out of the country so what was this was it last no not last summer oh definitely not last summer the summer before last yeah okay so the summer before was it really that long ago i guess so because it's only september now yeah Okay, so the summer before last, I went on a well, I was preparing to go to my to go on a my first mission trip. Um, so I had to raise money and stuff. You know, you have to fundraise and stuff to get your to get the money to be able to go over um go overseas and serve nationwide. So I've always like y'all, first of all, y'all gonna think I'm so crazy. I'm talking about this is like how how many hours was it? Twelve. It was like somewhere like twelve to fourteen hours, I think. Yeah, I think it was like a twelve to fourteen hour flight. And don't judge me. I'm I'm very like I said before, like you gonna realize that I'm not normal. I do things very like out of order, out of like yeah, I'm just not normal. So this twelve hour, fourteen hour plane ride. This was my first time on an airplane ever like let that sink in ever i like before this trip i've never gone on a plane ride because i mean where was i going for real like where was i going <laughs> i'm like i'm just a little hood girl you know what i'm saying let me stop <laughs> Okay, so I'm from the hood. We we don't just take trips places, you know. That's not in the like that's not the MO. So this is my first trip on an airplane, like ever. And I was going out of the country. I had to get a passport. I had to like raise like raise money. Shout out to my dad, cause he he was like making wings and stuff to get me over to get me to Santiago. I went to Santiago, Chile. Um so that was my first time going, like that was my first out of the country trip ever. And it was my very first plane ride and my longest plane ride. <laughs> so I had to, um, I had to get on my passport and stuff. I had to raise this money. And I think I, I don't know, I think I could have kind of close to raising the money too. Um, but yeah, I did all that stuff. And then the day of the trip, well, like the night before the trip, I was like getting kind of, I didn't I didn't say I was scared because I didn't feel like I was scared but my adrenaline my adrenaline was like pumping like I was I was like hype almost I guess that's I don't know I just choose to be hype rather than scared I guess I don't know I was like like my adrenaline was pumping like for real so I was like okay we about to get on this plane I was like hype um but I was excited too because it was my first trip out of the country I think I'm the I don't know. I think I'm the first person in my family to go out of the country. Uh, I don't know if this is completely true. Reggie went to, I think, I feel like Reggie went to Jamaica at one point. I feel like. That counts, right? That counts. Because you have to have a passport and stuff. My other brothers have gone out of country since then. But at the time, I was the, I was either the first or the second. Yeah, first or the second person to leave the country in my whole family. She flies on planes all the time. Um, but my dad, we gonna get you on a plane, sir. <laughs> but yeah, so I was like the first or the second to leave the country. And I was going to Santiago, Chile. I, the day of, I was like, 
adrenaline was pumping i was like hype i was like oh i didn't know what to expect i didn't know what the security and stuff all that stuff was like i've heard about it and i know it's like gotten really crazy so i didn't know what to expect i had to take off my shoes y'all i had to make sure i had on some good socks <laughs> but yeah like on the day of, i was just hyped I was super hyped all the way, like all the way there, all the way to the airport. I was hyped. And then when we got there, we went through security and stuff and like checked our bags and stuff. That was, that was pretty like straightforward, pretty straight. Like I didn't have any problems with, um, what's the people called? TSA, I think. I didn't have any problems with them. Like they didn't pull any of us aside. We all like made it through quickly. Then we had to wait a little while. It wasn't that long. We had to wait a little while for the plane to board. And I was like, I was so fascinated by everything. Like my tickets, like having the ticket, having my passport. Like I was fascinated. I was just like, and nobody probably knew that. But to me, that was like a brand new experience. I was just enjoying the moment. And then... I, I, the only reason I got on the plane is because I knew we were going over like it was a mission trip so I had a reason a real reason to go um so I was like excited and stuff and I was just like dang I'm really about to get on this plane like I'm talking to myself like I'm about to get on this plane I've never been on a plane before and the first flight I take was 12 14 hours who else doing it who else just me just me just crazy danielle doing it <laughs> y'all my earring almost fell out i felt it slip <laughs> but yeah okay so after we um like when we started we finally started boarding we did have like one negative experience on the not not the plane because we we had to do a layover in texas that that little flight was fine it didn't take long at all either um but when so when we got on the plane to Texas, I was like, I think I was at the, I was on the window seat. Yeah, I was on the window seat. It was me and another, uh, one of the other people on my team. He, it was his first time on the plane too. So, um, so we was like consoling each other almost. I was like, it's cool. It's gonna be fun. We gonna be, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be cool. So, um, we once the plane started like rolling, I was like, oh my god i wonder do i still have that video i probably still have that video oh y'all if i have the pictures from that trip i'm gonna include them too so um i took a video of the the first time like when the the plane was taking off so i took a video of that and i was like oh snap it's really happening but at all this time y'all i wasn't i wasn't afraid like i wasn't scared i was just like pumped like adrenaline pumping like this is something new um so i like i recorded when the plane was taking off and it was kind of i kind of enjoyed it like i had fun with it kind of i think it was kind of like exhilarating i guess almost so the plane took off and it was like you know how it goes and it started going faster and then it went shh. so we were like heading into the clouds and i was like oh, y'all should have saw my face <laughs> I was like, oh, we're in the clouds. And then like you, when you know, when you look down, I wasn't even scared to look down. Like I wanted to see everything. And when I looked down, I was like, oh my God, look how tiny everything is. I was just like excited and everything was new. So uh, that was, that was like probably the most memorable part of like my first plane experience was looking down and we like, oh my God, I'm in the sky right now. And thinking about how high we were in the sky and seeing everything go like, to get like everything getting smaller. It was as we go further and further up and looking outside and seeing clouds. That was crazy to me. That was crazy. So that was my first plane ride technically the, on the way to Texas. But um, when we got to Texas, we had another, I think we had another a short little uh, layover I hope that's the right terminology because you know only one trip in <laughs> so uh we, we had to wait a little bit before we got on the second plane and this plane was way bigger because it was the international flight it was way bigger um the first one was kind of small so we got there and then time went past I think, yeah we ate and stuff in the in the uh, airport and then time went past and then um we had one negative experience so when we were finally getting ready to board the plane to go over to Santiago to go over to Chile, the people who were, um, 
what's it called it's like an annex i guess what's it called though i don't know what it's called um so we were headed we were headed onto the plane but it was like a stop between um the lobby area and actually getting to the plane in that little annex area so it was like a table and they were checking bags again i guess which is cool safety is great i appreciate that all that's great but their attitudes were horrible like they were horrible one of them talked really crazy to one of my team one of my um one of my team members we were like what's like what's i don't understand the purpose of that but that was like the only negative experience that i can think of from the whole trip but that lasted like this long and then um i was on my way to get on this big huge plane i was like oh, everything looks so new y'all it was so crazy i'm so crazy why did i get on that long like why would i pick the longest trip ever to, for my first plane ride <laughs> thinking about that that's so crazy um so yeah so on this plane it was like way way bigger way bigger than the other plane um it had like tvs like the little screens you have full like a lot of movies that's all i did the whole plane ride for most of the plane ride i was watching movies movies i hadn't seen yet and stuff like that so um i didn't i didn't use the restroom on the airplane because mm -mm, i didn't want to see nothing i didn't want to see y'all mm -mm. I don't even, I don't like using public restrooms either, but I definitely wasn't going to use that, that restroom on the plane. So I held it for that long. <laughs> so I held it for let, for the whole plane ride. But, um, I watched movies. They, um, they had, um, the food and it was, it was I think we got breakfast and dinner. Yeah, we got dinner and then we had breakfast. And of course I had my little snacks. Um, it was fun. I mean, it was long because that, that plane ride was a long time and my back was stiff and stuff, but I was like, I ain't complaining. I'm about to go out the country. I'm about to be in a whole new place when I get off this plane. I was just tripping out still. So when we finally, um, we finally landed the next morning. Yeah. Oh, what, or was it late at night? It was either early, early in the morning, like when it was still dark because it was dark outside when we got there or it was like, um, late at night i can't remember which one but when we got there and i like i actually like stepped on the ground i was like whoa i'm in a new place like i'm in a whole new country they speak a whole different language i was so excited like y'all don't even I was so excited. I was trying to keep my like composure because I didn't want to be that one person who's like, have you ever been anywhere? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> but I was so excited, y'all. And then when we got there, y'all, it was like almost immediately we were like family. Um, met with our, um, they were like our guides almost. But it was soon like that was family. Like almost immediately, we were like family. We were we were here. Um, if y'all watching this video, by the way, because some of them, some of my friends in Santiago said they were gonna subscribe to my channel, and I already know y'all did. If y'all watching this video, hey y'all, hey, I miss y'all. I love y'all so much. I still love y'all. Um, yeah, we became like family. It was so much fun. We stayed for a week. Um, and did a few things in the community. Did a few things at the church over there. It was fun. It was so much fun. We had a lot of fun. One of um, one of the people we met, his parents, uh, his parents found out we were there, and we met them. I think one time before, before they offered. Is it? I think we met them one time before. Yeah. Um. So his parents invited all of us, and it was like. It was like five of us, I think. I think it was like five of us. He, they invited all of us to their house in a whole other, like we're from a whole other country. They invited all of us to their house and his mom cooked so much food for us. Like I was like, that blew my mind. They were so sweet, so nice. And they were all like every, like a couple of people that I met there, I was like, if you ever come back, like, please let me know. And you can stay with me. Like, you can, um, you don't have to pay for a hotel. You can just stay here. You can stay with me. I was like, oh my God. They're so, y'all, I met, I met the nicest people. Like, I will remember them forever, forever, forever. If I find pictures, I'm going to include them in this video. That was like, that was the best trip ever. 
I mean, I don't think I, cause when by the time by the time it was, by the time we had to leave, like to go back home, I was so sad. Like I was so sad. I was like, can we just stay? Like I was legitimately, legitimately, I was legitimately sad to go back. Um, it was y'all. I can't even explain it. It was so much fun. We had. We played, um, we played games one day. We had like a game night. We just, we hung out with them. Um, we hung out with their families. Like we just got to know each other. It was so much fun. We served together. We like gave back into the community together. I feel like we grew so close in that little short time. It was crazy. It was so crazy. And it was so beautiful. It was so beautiful over there. We got to go up into the mountains and see this cool landmark. Um, it was so cool. It was, everything was cool. It was so much fun. Like, I'm gonna remember that forever. That's gonna be forever be, well, it's gonna forever be the first trip that I ever took out of the country. But it, that, that trip has a special place in my heart. For sure, beyond those reasons, beyond just it being my first trip, it was just the people we met there. It was just so, y'all, y'all are in my heart. If you're watching this video, you're in my heart. Hey, amiga. Wait, what did I say? Hey, amiga, mayor. I love you. You and your son. I love you guys. Happy belated birthday. I already told you, but happy belated birthday. Hey, all. Hey, Sammy. Hey, David. Hey, Bruno. Hey uh and just everybody hey to everybody i love you guys so 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 much um and i miss y'all for real i miss y'all just thinking about this story it makes me miss y'all for real um yeah but that's basically my first trip like my first plane ride my first trip out of the country it was amazing i'm looking forward like i really want to travel so i'm looking forward to taking another trip i can't wait um i have some like wish list whoa i have some countries that's, that's like on my wish list so i'm i'm excited i'm i'm really looking forward to like traveling more and experiencing more um cultures they they tried to teach me um some spanish i know a little bit bacan that means cool right guys right yeah <laughs> and i like i can because i took spanish all like all through high school and all through college i like when they were speaking and having conversations most of the time anyway like i could either understand what they were saying or like, i could piece like the words together and make out what they were saying they were really impressed i was like yeah i studied <laughs> but like they were trying to help me with my speaking y'all i'm still working on it i'm sorry y'all i'm still working on it <laughs> uh but yeah it was so much fun y'all i miss them so much i miss y'all so much but that that was just like the best time ever and then we we had to take the the same like rides home the layover back home was way longer than going i think we had to stay in texas when we got to texas it was about it was a few hours y'all i don't even know i can't remember how many hours but it was a few hours that we had to stay in texas before we got back home and then once we got in the plane to go to memphis it felt like the plane ride was like only 30 minutes 30 minutes <laughs> it was real short but yeah, that was my first trip out of the country and on the plane. It was so much fun. I'll have those memories forever. We tried a lot of different food. We just got to do so much. And I like I really, 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 really appreciate that, that whole trip. The, the people I met, the experiences I had, the different culture. I I appreciate it all the way. Um, I wish I could have stayed for longer than a week. Oh my god. Yes. Okay, so if you're watching this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me about um, the favorite, the your most favorite place that you've traveled out of the country. And if you haven't traveled out of the country yet, tell me where you're planning to go or where you're wanting to go in the future. Yeah, that's a good one. Y'all comment down below. Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate you guys so much. You don't even know how much. I love y'all so much. Peace and I cannot believe this. Look at these mountains. Wow. This is just too gay. I don't want to get off right here.